playroom. This November, save big on the tough shed you've been dreaming of. Our buildings are customizable exactly the way you want, with great options like our new keyless entry. Plus, our experienced sales staff will help you design your new tough shed from start to finish. Get your new building installed on site all within a day. Right now, save up to $1,000 off your new tough shed with our buy more, save more offer. So don't hesitate. This great deal expires at the end of the month. Get yours installed before the end of the year. Click, call, or visit to shop today. Save up to 80% at the Jewelry Exchange. Quarter carat studs, 69. Huggies, 149. Tennis bracelets, 599 per carat. Two carat three stone rings or studs, 1990. Guaranteed to appraise for double factory direct. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. <laughs> Chocolate Beyond Words. Classic recipe by Lindt. Paul Diano. Next weather. Weekdays. KCAL News Mornings. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning and happy Small Business Saturday. It is November 30th. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Shiba Turk. Welcome to KCAL News at 9 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Let's get a look at your weather, which is so perfect today. Meteorologist Alex Piston joining us with more on the forecast. It is. It is perfect. It's beautiful out there and a great day to get outside and support any small business of your choosing. Uh, we start off with a live look next to the sky camera downtown Los Angeles. You can see up in the, in the uh, sky all those high-level clouds. That's going to be the mix today. I know we saw that yesterday. Temperature though will be up a few degrees from what we felt yesterday. Uh, here's a breakdown by area. I've got mid 70s at the coastline. Beautiful day at the beach. High 70s across LA and Orange County. Low 80s for some of our warmer valley locations today. High 60s across areas like Palmdale, uh, Lancaster, Victorville, mountains in the high 50s today. So this is a snapshot of today. I've got to look at the rest of the weekend forecast. Plus, as we head into this upcoming week, do we have any rain in store? Hmm, I'll answer that question coming up in just a few minutes. All Ladies, right. back to you. Thank you, Alex. We're following breaking news in downtown Los Angeles. A high voltage transformer fire has burned in the yard of the Union Rescue Mission. Now, the transformer is high voltage, so the fire department says it will just allow it to burn out on its own. So far, there are no reports of injuries and no word yet on a cause of the fire. A scary situation for a Malibu neighborhood. A suspect in Malibu is taken into custody after firing shots at deputies. Yeah, that entire neighborhood was locked down before an arrest was made. KCAL's Gio and Signares spoke with neighbors and friends who were shocked that this type of thing could happen where they lived. Fear and confusion in a Malibu neighborhood following an intense standoff ending with a man in custody. I was a bit scared, yeah. I was, I was startled. Um... It never usually happens anything around here. According to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, deputies responded to the area of Carbon Mesa Road at roughly 1.50 p.m. after receiving reports of gunfire. After they got to the scene, officials say deputies were fired at by the suspect. No one was injured. The suspect was eventually arrested without any problems a little before 3.30 p.m., according to LASD. The large response during that time captured overhead by SkyCal as friends and family checked on loved ones who were waiting for the all clear. Ryan Mendelson says he rushed over to check on his mom once he heard what was going on. I called my mom back and I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? She's like, yeah, don't worry. Like, PK just scary, so don't rush down the street. Others, like Roxy, who's lived here for 45 years, the situation was a complete surprise. She was out shopping with family before she came back and was unable to go to her house because of the street closures put in place by deputies. So we went to get something to eat and then came back again. And then I parked here. And we're going to wait it out. The department's Special Enforcement Bureau, their version of SWAT, was also on hand to help. Meanwhile, residents were told to stay inside and wait. My friend who lived above it, they said, you either have to leave, you won't come back for a while until this is all sorted, or you can stay, but you cannot leave no matter what. For Darcy, he says he managed to get a closer look at the scene from a different vantage point before eventually deciding to come back down. And I got so scared because you could see like all the cops like up there and then I didn't know if it was this house or another house but I saw a black house with the window and then a guy running back and forth and I got so scared I was like oh I don't want him to see me. Crews later cleared the scene and people were allowed back up to their homes. I think Malibu is a great city to live in. It's always been safe and everyone loves Malibu. It's just it's one of these rare occurrences that happened and it, it sucks but thank God that we're okay and everyone's safe. 
Still a lot of questions about who this suspect was and what exactly led up to that standoff. We've reached out to the Sheriff's Department with those questions, and once we get answers, we'll pass them along to you. In Malibu, I'm Gio Insignares, KCAL News. A devastating house fire the day after Thanksgiving. Flames tore through the Colton home of a family of eight. The six kids were trapped upstairs with their mother and had to jump out the second story window to safety. The family had lived there for several years and they were working to restore it. The family was screaming for help and I believe they said we're burning or we're dying. Just dedicated so much work and for him to see all that gone. You know, it's just really sad for him. He has nothing, nothing, nothing's left of this house. All his belongings, all his stuff. At this point, it's not clear what started the fire. We're told the family will spend a few days in the hospital recovering from smoke inhalation. All evacuation warnings for the Canyon Crest fire have been lifted. The fire erupted Thursday in San Bernardino County near Fontana, then spread into Riverside County. The flames sparking evacuation warnings on both sides of the county line. Ground crews, bulldozer operators and water dropping helicopters battled the fire all night. The active flames are out after burning more than 250 acres. In just two days, Governor Newsom is convening a special session all about President-elect Trump. They'll focus on how his upcoming presidency and policy will impact everyone. KCAL News political reporter Tom Waite spoke with an expert about what realistically can be done. Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom.